are you still struggling with the confidence to get on the phone just because you've been on the receiving end of so many inauthentic and sleazy sales pitches? <laughs> I've got your back. In today's video, I am gonna give you some real strategies to have the confidence to get on the phone so that it feels like you're chatting with a friend, not persuading a prospect. <laughs> My name is Renee Rebar and I am a sales strategist with 20 years of sales experience. I have been there and I'm gonna teach you what I normally only go over with my paying clients. So hold on, let's dive in. <laughs> I want you to say in the comments what your biggest trip ups are. Where are you getting stuck? And tell me what you think might make it a little easier for you. But here's the secret to a genuine conversation. Are you ready? <laughs> Remove yourself from the outcome. I've heard that so many times, and I know you probably have too if you're watching this video, you're looking for solutions to your sales. Well, how do you do it? Here's one trick that I do. I literally set my intention. I say it out loud. Before I get on the phone with them, before I send a message, I specifically say this phrase, I just want to get to know the person. I just want to get to know the person. I just want to get to know the person. And I encourage you to do the same thing. I thought it sounded weird and silly and it wouldn't work, but you know what? It actually does work. I wouldn't share it with you if I didn't think it did. So try to really honestly set that intention, say it out loud. I just want to get to know the person. By doing that, you are going to be able to remove yourself from the hope and wishing of an outcome, a specific outcome, like I hope they sign or I hope they get this package or I hope they do that. It's okay to be excited, of course, but it's going to be disruptive to you and the other person if you're like only thinking about that one thing. It's also gonna close you off to all the other things that are possible. There are so many people that I ended up getting on sales calls with that I ended up buying from, or that I ended up collaborating with, or that ended up quoting me for an article that got a million views. So every sales call is an opportunity. An opportunity to grow your business, expand your network, and genuinely get to know another person. That is the first step. The second step to actually getting on the phone with them is to genuinely sit down and think about what questions can I ask them that will get the conversation started. You've already met them, whether it was at a networking event, whether it was in a Facebook group, LinkedIn, you've met them somewhere, you've connected, you've already found common ground, you already know what things you have in common, and now your goal is to email them, message them, text them, so that you can continue the conversation casually and then naturally say, you know, we should just hop on a quick call or I'd love to have a quick call or I'd love to schedule a quick meeting or I'd love to have a virtual coffee chat with you. Whatever makes sense for your business. So here's how you do it. I have a very specific formula called the one plus one messaging formula and it always goes like this. When you're typing something, you always want to ask direct closed ended questions, which means that they can answer them in 10 seconds or less with a yes or a no, like this. For example, this one person that I met at a networking event, I realized her son was going to Ohio State. So when I messaged her, I again complimented her on her earrings. Oh my gosh, Melinda, I loved those earrings you were wearing. I just wanted to say it was so great meeting you the other night. I keep thinking about Columbus in the fall. I'm so excited for you that your son is going to Ohio State. Are you going to visit him for Thanksgiving or is he gonna come back home? That's it, that's the first message after I met her in person. What does that inspire? It inspires her to send me a message back and then the conversation starts so that I naturally makes, it naturally makes sense. I naturally can ask, you know what, I, I love talking with you. Let's get to know each other better. It's not like, hey, there's a juicy prospect. Let's go in for the kill. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the bait <laughs> is no longer any good. And the, the fish, the person you're fishing for, they know it. They can see it a mile away. So seriously and genuinely set the intention to get to know someone and then do it. And then when you connect for real on the phone call, 
you will be chatting with a friend, not just persuading a prospect. Put that into your toolbox and one more piece. When you are going in to get in these conversations, you need to be prepared for what you will say. If you're not sure about how to carry this out, you need to grab my sales training, then click the link for sure and subscribe to this channel because we are gonna be talking about how to have the conversation once you get on the phone. See you in the next video.